Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Mr. Q. Today, the quiz is mixed knowledge, but every word begins with the letter Y. And today, we have a brand new channel, the newest quiz channel on YouTube. It is called Quiz It. At least it's called Quiz It for now. We may change that later on. But I welcome you to my new channel. For all of you who came over from Mr. Quister's trivia channel, if you enjoyed that, I think you're going to enjoy this one just as much, if not more. We've got all sorts of new features on this channel, and I'll tell you all about them at the end of the quiz. But let's get into question number one. And today's quiz, not too tough. For question number one, what is the basic monetary unit of Japan whose symbol you see here? The answer is yen. And I said this one is kind of easy. Well, of course, they're all fairly simple if you know the answers, but I think you're going to get a lot of them right today. So let's move on to question number two. What is the name of this Greek composer who has performed at the Acropolis, the Taj Mahal, and at China's Forbidden City? The answer is... Yanni. And I remember it was the early 90s that I very first saw Yanni's video, on a VHS even, uh, live at the Acropolis. It is beautiful music. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'm sure you can find videos on YouTube or just pick up the video, but it is amazing. And it also reminds me about four years ago, four or five years ago, when there was this thing going uh, around the internet, like that um, blue dress, gold dress thing, but this was different. This was something that you heard that sounded like... Laurel. Laurel. And I always thought it said Laurel. Laurel. But a lot of people said it said Yanni. I've never heard it say Yanni, but you tell me what you hear. So here we go, moving on to question number three. And for this one, what is the name for the mythical creature from Tibetan lore said to live in the Himalayas? The answer is Yeti. And I live in Vancouver. We're part of what the Americans would call the Pacific Northwest or what we here on uh, in Canada called the West Coast. And here we have something very similar called the Sasquatch. I've never seen one, but there are people who swear that they really do exist. Some people call them Bigfoot as well. Let's move on to question number four. And for this one, what is the name for the wooden beam placed on the necks of two animals to enable them to pull a load in unison? And the answer is yoke. You will see a yoke across their two necks. Question number five. Which element, named for the Swedish village where it was found, is number 39 on the periodic table? The answer is yttrium, spelled with a Y but pronounced yttrium. And through all of my quizzes, there's usually one or two people who go, I don't like those uh, chemical formula or periodic table or elements questions. Well, there's only 118 of them, so stick around. Eventually, you'll know them all. Let's take a look at question number six. Which word coined in the 1980s would refer to a young urban professional with a well-paid job? The answer is yuppie. And I almost gave the answer in the question because yuppie comes from young urban professional. That's where the word comes from. Let's take a look at question number seven. What do we call a round portable tent made from a framework of flexible poles and covered in fabric? The answer is yurt. And this particular yurt that you are looking at right now is in Mongolia. That's where the uh, origin of that word comes from, I believe. Question number eight. What Swiss duo performed the 1985 hit, Oh Yeah, which was featured in Ferris Bueller's Day Off?
The answer is yellow. No W, just Y-E-L-L-O, yellow. Question number nine. What form of singing involves repeated and rapid changes from the low pitch chest register Ma. to falsetto? Ah. The answer is yodeling. And we are moving on to question number 10, followed by the bonus question. And I've also got some more information for you about this new channel, Quiz It. So question number 10. What do scientists call a span of time equal to one septillionth of a second, that is a trillion trillions, or 10 to the negative 24 seconds? The answer is yoctosecond, and I will admit, before I made this quiz, I had never heard of the term yoctosecond. So if you learn something new, so did I. That's the whole idea of quiz it is to learn something new, have some fun along the way. So before we get to the bonus question, I just want to let you know a couple of things about quiz it. Number one, we are going to do something that no other channel on YouTube does. We are going to have live and interactive quizzes. What does that mean? That means you are going to be able to watch and play along in real time with other people and compete against them. When I ask a question, if it is a word we're looking for, like yoctosecond or yurt, you're just going to type in the answer. If you're the first person to get it right, you get full points. And there's a graduated scale working our way down as people are putting in their answers. So if it's multiple choice, you just choose A, B, C, or D. And again, whoever gets the correct answer first gets the most points. At the end of the quiz, it's probably going to be about 20 questions. It's probably going to be about 45 minutes. Whoever has the highest score is going to be the champion of YouTube, the smartest person on YouTube for an entire week until we do it all again the following week. So please join me June 18th, 11 a.m. right here on Quizit. Uh, I also want to let you know that we are wrapping up things with Mr. Quizster, but we still have the letter Z quiz coming up here. We're going to have more quizzes like that, just like we did on Mr. Quizster. Regular quizzes, multiple choice quizzes, music, movies, general knowledge, um, you name it, all sorts of different uh, types and styles of quizzes, but we're going to try some different things here as well, including that live quiz. By the way, uh, as you can see, my studio, my uh, corner of the room here, isn't great, but we're going to be working on putting something together that looks a, bit, a little bit nicer. The format I have here for Quizit is going to be new as well. I'm just borrowing from Mr. Quizster for now, but we'll get that all sorted out. In the meantime, let's get on to the bonus question. And for the bonus question, what name is given for the highest rank in the Japanese sport of sumo wrestling? If you know the answer, leave it in the comments. And again, I want to thank you so much for joining me here for the very first Quizit quiz. I hope to see you for the live quiz on Saturday. Whatever you do, have fun doing it. Take care. I'll see you soon.